Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So um we're going to be now on this on today's lesson we're going to be looking at the relationship between um gamma and beta function. So um we've successfully treated what gamma function is now we want to treat what um now we've and also we've treated what beta function is so now we are trying to establish a relationship between gamma functions and beta function so now we we all know that from this this was the last this was the last form formula we derived on our last video right now this is this actually like we can prove this in two ways we can prove this relationship in two ways so the first the first um way we are going to prove it which is actually actually a more shorter form is this so and this shorter way is what we what i am going to be showing you today so now this was the this was the formula we proved on our last video which we said the beta of mm is equal to m minus 1 factorial n minus 1 factorial divided by m plus n minus 1 factorial now this was the form or the formula we proved on our last video so now we want to establish a relationship remember this beta function is in terms of m and n now where m is not actually a fraction remember do not, do not forget m should not be a fraction m should only be um a whole number and an integer right so now this but this this form or this this relationship we are, we are going to derive is going to help us to solve when we are given the beta of fractions remember we, we i showed you how to calculate beta of the gamma of fractions on our last video on gamma function so now we all don't know how to calculate the beta of fractions so now this form i'm going to be deriving will help us calculate the beta of fractions when we are given for example beta of one over two and three over two and so on and so forth so now work with me so we know that um n factorial is equal to the gamma of n plus one not for, i hope you have not forgotten this formula on gamma function I, because i actually proved this on uh, my videos on gamma function this is this is just the gamma of the n gamma of n plus one is equal to n factorial right then yeah we know we, we know that so that means the that means n minus one factorial will be equal to the gamma replacing this with replacing n with n minus one n minus one plus one right which is the gamma of n so the gamma of n is equal to n minus one factorial which we all know that right so now we've established for this this one now since we also know that m factorial is equal to the gamma of m plus one right this means that the gamma of three plus one is, is equal to three factorial and so on and so forth if you, i'm sure you, you remember this presentation because i proved this on our videos on our last video then that means the that means m minus one factorial will be equal to m equal to the gamma of m minus one plus one which is the gamma of m right now we've established this part two now since so that means if the gamma of m minus one factorial is equal to this which is also equal to m then we can let's say substituting m here for m plus n right or since we know that m plus n factorial is equal to the gamma of m plus n plus one right you know this just i'm just i just substituted m plus n for m here and we have this the gamma of m plus n is the, the the m plus n factorial is equal to the gamma of m plus n plus one right i just substituted n or substituted m here for m plus n so that means the gamma of m plus that means m plus n minus one factorial is equal to so, so substituting m plus n for m for, for m plus n minus one i have gamma of m plus n minus one plus one right which is equal to one this to cancel out this which is equal to gamma of m plus n so we first we said we've successfully established this now like i said this is a shorter way of getting that relationship between beta and gamma function so if you look at what we've successfully established we can express we can express n factorial to be gamma of m plus one we can express m factorial to be gamma of m plus one and we can express m plus n minus one factorial to be gamma of m plus n 
So now let's resubstitute them, resubstitute them back into the formula. Remember the formula we derived was that gamma of m plus n is equal to m minus 1 factorial n minus 1 factorial, right? Divided by m plus n minus 1 factorial. So, and since we've established the fact that gamma of m minus, minus we have established the fact that m minus 1 factorial is equal to the gamma of m, then we substitute it for this. We will now be having gamma of m for m minus 1, and we establish that n factorial is equal to the gamma of we establish that m minus 1 factorial is equal to gamma of n. Then substitute here also times the gamma of n divided by n. We also establish the fact that n plus n minus 1 factorial is equal to the gamma of n plus n. Then we, sub we substitute here also. So we have the gamma of m plus n. So this beta of n of mn is equal to the gamma of m times the gamma of n divided by the gamma of m plus n. So this is what I call the relationship between gamma and beta function because we're having a gamma here and we're having a beta function so this is what i call the relationship between gamma and beta function so now let's take an example then you see how we can apply this form in solving some questions so see you guys